Hey guys, uh, this video is mainly going to be for my buddy Jeff, uh, Captain Jeff of CGS Knives. Uh, this was inspired by a conversation that we had earlier today concerning eyelet sizes and the flaring die sizes uh, that correspond to those. And uh, he'd asked me for my opinion on uh, what sizes he should start out with uh, as he can only afford one set right now, uh, which is entirely understandable. Uh, as I was in the same boat myself, uh, the flaring dies are not cheap, uh, and it's definitely hard for guys like us to afford uh, all the different sizes at once. Uh, so his question is what sizes I would recommend for him to start out with, uh, maybe what would be the most versatile for his applications. And uh, I wanted to make this video kind of as an addition to the conversation we had, uh, just to give him a better idea and visual representation of the different eyelet sizes and maybe help him make his decision a little more easily. And uh, maybe some of you other guys who might happen upon this have the same questions and concerns. Uh, so hopefully that'll help you guys out as well. Uh, but what I, what I wanted to show you guys first was uh, the two different uh, eyelet sizes that are most commonly used for knife making and kydex sheath making. Um, that would be the 3 16 diameter eyelet and the quarter inch diameter eyelet. And uh, what I have here, uh, I have two 3 16 eyelets on this side. Uh, these are two different brands. And then a quarter inch eyelet on this side. Uh, now one thing I want to note right away, uh, these two eyelets on the left are both economy eyelets. Uh, they're very cheap. Uh, for about 100 of these, I think I only paid about 2 or $3 dollars. Uh, on the other hand, I have a premium 3 16 diameter eyelet on the right here, uh, and they cost about uh, $13 to $15, I believe, uh, for a hundred of those. Uh, and I'm going to talk about why I prefer one over the other at the end of the video. Uh, but right now, I just want to give a real quick uh, visual size comparison, uh, both between the eyelets themselves, uh, as well as using my tape for... Uh, kind of a rough reference there. Uh, now right away you will notice an obvious difference in size from the 3 16 to quarter inch, uh, especially if you're only looking uh, at the premium versus this economy quarter inch. Uh, now I don't have any of the premium quarter inch eyelets on hand, uh, but I would imagine uh, that they're a little slimmer in diameter, because uh, as you can see uh, the lip is a little bit bigger on this cheaper one uh, than this economy one. And I'll talk more about that again uh, towards the end of this video. Uh, but that's just a quick size comparison. Uh, I don't know if this will help. I don't have any coins or anything, but this is a 3 8 inch bolt. Uh, about an inch and a half long, uh, just to give you kind of an idea. Uh, now, as far as why you would choose one over the other, uh, I started out using just the 3 16 eyelets uh, because I was making smaller neck knife sheaths that uh, just employed a 550 mil spec paracord lanyard. And uh, I didn't need anything uh, too fancy for that. And uh, since they were smaller sheaths, I figured I would go with the smaller eyelet. And uh, as you can see, uh, even with the core intact with this 550 paracord, uh, does fit perfectly uh, with plenty of room uh, into the 3 16 uh, eyelet hole. And uh, just to show you real quick in the quarter inch, you do have quite a bit more room. Uh, but one reason you would maybe prefer that over the 3 16 inch is for another attachment method uh, which might employ a Chicago screw or maybe even a tech lock uh, which use similar size screws and posts. And uh, as you can see, uh, just to give you a quick comparison, uh, those quarter inch eyelets just barely fit over these, uh, I believe these are 3 16 Chicago screws. Uh, and as far as I know, these are the smallest Chicago screws you can buy. Uh, so I don't believe they currently make any to fit the 3 16 So uh, that's just kind of a quick uh, representation there. Uh, as you can see, uh, the diameters of that uh, Chicago screw post 
and the 3 16 eyelet are roughly the same. <coughs> uh, now, as far as what I would recommend, uh, as far as getting the premium eyelets versus the cheaper ones, uh, while you do get, get a lot more uh, in quantity for your money for the cheaper ones, you get way, way more in quality for the premium ones. So I believe it's definitely worth uh, the extra 10 or $15 that you're gonna spend uh, to get maybe 100 of these uh, versus the cheap ones. And uh, I'll show you a quick example of why uh, using these uh, flaring dies from usaknifemaker.com. Uh, when you put these together, if I can focus there, Uh, you see that the uh, lip doesn't made up uh, super well uh, with this flaring die. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap there between the edges uh, that can affect your overall product, uh, especially uh, when you put the final pressure on this to roll that unfinished edge. Uh, I've noticed a tendency to flatten these lips out on the cheaper eyelets. Uh, when I'm using the 3 16 dies, uh, and that, well, it doesn't, you know, look as bad maybe as using a hand setter. Uh, it still doesn't look that good. Uh, on the other hand, these premium dialets, uh, these premium eyelets rather, uh, fit the dies much much better uh, with much tighter tolerances. And I'll uh, see if I can give you a quick example of that. Uh, I don't know how well it'll show up uh, on these 3 16 eyelets. But uh, as you can see, uh, it forms just much better. Uh, the mate is much better uh, between the two and uh, the overall product uh, is hence uh, much nicer and uh, you don't end up flattening uh, that smaller lip out like you would on the cheaper one. Uh, so hands down, I definitely recommend uh, spending a little bit more on the premium eyelets uh, versus the cheap ones, uh, even though you uh, perhaps are tempted to buy the cheaper ones and get more. Uh, I don't believe they're worth uh, the sacrifice in quality. Uh, as far as flaring dies go, uh, I definitely recommend uh, the custom sets from usanifemaker.com. Uh, however, you can find them also at knifekits.com uh, if you like shopping there uh, for a little bit cheaper. Uh, although I am quite impressed with the results I get uh, from Tracy's. Uh, you can kind of look both of those up, compare for yourself. Uh, but since I usually place orders with usanifemaker.com anyway, uh, and since I'm already paying for shipping on other items, uh, the cost difference was negligible for me. Uh, since I don't really buy a whole lot from knifekits.com anyway. Uh, your mileage may vary. Uh, that's your call. Uh, but hopefully this video helps you out. Uh, just gives you maybe a better visual representation of the size differences. Uh, a little bit more to consider. Uh, both for the sizes as well as the quality of eyelets uh, that you'll be looking for. And uh, Like I said, I definitely recommend going with the premium ones as they... Uh, give a much better finish. Uh, they even save a little bit of space uh, depending on what size you get uh, due to the smaller lip size. Uh, and the overall finish is just much nicer. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have uh, any uh, examples of a finished uh, eyelet on me as far as one that I've pressed already. I apologize for that, uh, but you just have to take my word uh, over the quality difference. So uh, I think that's basically all the points I wanted to go over. Uh, hopefully that helps. And uh, maybe that will help you uh, solidify a decision on what sizes you want to get. Uh, as well as what type of eyelids you get. So uh, that's all for now. Uh, as always, uh, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe if you've not already. There are plenty more knife making related videos to come, so stay tuned. I'll talk to you guys later.